All right, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Apex Legends video, man. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the uh, new post that Apex Legends made on Twitter today. So if you guys have not been on Twitter at all, man, uh, of course, Solo's left the game today, so that is done. Uh, but they did make a post about all their plans for the future, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video, man. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, man. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So, what they say here is, um, uh, Lee RSPN here, Apex Legends Director of Product Management, that is. We wanted to share more context with you around the three types of events you can expect from Apex Legends, including season launches, collection events, and themed events. The next one launching early September, which is literally next week, which is great. Uh, the main goal for all these events is to add new ways to play so that we are keeping the game fresh and exciting for our players. Each of these events has a unique theme with a variety of components but share the same general framework. One or more new gameplay changes such as permanent limited time modes, ranked or solos respectively, map updates and town takeovers, balance changes, new characters, new weapons and more. New free progression content via challenges or the free battle pass track and pur uh, purchasable cosmetics via battle pass packs and or the shop. Uh, the three event structures will generally have the following. Season launches. At the start of the season, you can expect a major map update, a new legend, new loot items, weapons, ordinances, etc. Maybe changes to the new legend and weapon meta and balance. Updates to our ranked mode and potentially new features like we introduced in season 2 uh, with ranked mode. Every season will also feature the release of a brand new battle pass. Then we have themed events. These events will generally occur during a season and bring with them a limited time mode, event challenges that let players earn cosmetics, and a mix of event limited uh, and evergreen cosmetics available for direct purchase. These events may also include a town takeover or a small map change, and potential extensions to Apex Legends lore. Legendary Hunt was an example of a themed event, with the next one coming early September focused on a certain phase expert, which obviously you guys can you know tell that it's Wraith. A phase expert, there's only one in the game at the moment, and that is Wraith. Uh, then the collection events. Collection events will also take place throughout the season and deliver a limited time mode, event challenges where players earn uh, cosmetics, and a set of event limited cosmetics available via event, specific apex packs, or direct purchase. It's your choice, like themed events, collection events may also feature a town takeover or a small map change. So themed events and collection events are very similar, but they're a little bit different as well. Uh, we received a lot of fan feedback on our recent Iron Crown collection event and we're listening. We have another collection event planned for October. Uh, and ahead of that event, we will share it with you how we are making changes to the event. While these are our three main event structures, we're also working on new features, bug fixes, balance changes, and quality of life improvements that come in our period of patches updates. As always, we appreciate all your support and feedback. We hope this blog gives you uh, a better sense of what to expect in a season of Apex Legends. So... We went over everything that they said in their tweet from today and honestly man i could not be more satisfied with their communication with us uh, lately and you know just the updates in general they've been doing a pretty good job at keeping us uh you know entertained with new updates new content and stuff like that in my opinion and you know the competitive scene is growing and it's just very exciting to see the future of apex legends man uh like i said there is a new event coming at the start of uh september which is like literally next week so it could come as soon as next tuesday uh and there's gonna have a new limited time mode and stuff like that so that is super exciting to see man i really hope they do decide to bring duos in uh duos have been something i've been wanting on this game since it came out and uh, duos are probably my favorite game mode in any battle royale in my opinion man it's just the most you know versatile mode you can play whenever you want you only have to look for one person uh you know solos can get boring because it can be pretty campy and then uh trios can get annoying because you have to find for two, you have to look for two people uh it, it can be pretty hectic if you just want to play with one person man duos are just the best mode ever and i just really hope they do bring them uh, into the game with this most recent event and like i said man it's an event about the uh, face character which is Wraith so that means we could get like some sort of uh, map change which is a small map change of course uh, but that has to do with Wraith so I'm super curious to see like what they do with that and how it's gonna work uh, honestly like I have no idea what to but I can't predict this like Octane it was kind of predictable because of the jump pass but Wraith like what is there gonna be a place with like portals and stuff I don't know man that'd be, that, should, that would be cool to have like a, a POI with portals and stuff like that to move around and stuff so I hope you guys did enjoy this video man if you guys did make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe to on post notifications man uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video and peace
Oh, my God.